Hey guys, uh, Glass Phoenix here, and today I'm going to be doing a review, or actually, no, sorry, a see it or skip it, for the film uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which I just saw tonight. And uh, so basically, this is a movie that I wasn't planning on going to see, like I wasn't expecting it. Uh, like I saw, I saw the first one in theaters, which you know, I which I actually did like. You know, I thought it was really good. Def, definitely one of the better um, uh, video game adaptations. You know, because most of them are shit. But th that one was pretty good actually. I had a good time with that. But I haven't really seen it since it came out. I haven't really had a, had a big desire to go back and watch it. So when this movie, I heard this movie was coming out, I was like, oh cool. I, I probably won't see it, but you know, that's cool that they're releasing it. But recently, I was like, eh, I kind of want to add more content to my channel, so I thought I might as well go and see it tonight. And, uh, basically, I actually really, really like this movie, surprisingly. Uh, I, I, I definitely wasn't going in to, to, uh, like it. I was, I was expecting to be annoyed, uh, by it, but I was actually, I was actually really entertained. It's a really entertaining movie. Uh... Yeah, I, I was I was just surprised by how much I liked it. Like there, there's a lot of good th li things I liked about it. Uh, uh, for example, obviously, just to get get the obvious out of the way, Jim Carrey, he was really good in the movie as the evil Doctor Robotnik, um, suitably over the top as usual, which is good. And he, yeah, he's really good. And the movie is overall suitably suitably over the top. I'm glad I'm glad they they didn't really take it too seriously. So that 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 was cool. Uh, yeah, and all, all, they said all the performances are really good, you know, James Marsden's good, uh, the, the people who voice Sonic, you know, Tails, it just Elba, as Knuckles was, was, was really good, yeah, every, everyone did a, did a good job in this movie, acting wise, and, uh, the movie is also, like, pretty, like, has a lot of surprisingly exciting action scenes, uh, you know, I was really entertained, especially in the, in the third, the third act, the final action scene, or the, it's a really it's a really epic battle against a giant where they all fight a giant robot. It's really cool, um, real really well done. Surprisingly entertaining. It, it's you know it does a lot with its budget, so, which is not very high, but I, they obviously a lot of it went to that, and it, and it was really entertaining. I was really surprised by it, and uh, yeah, it's 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 a really it's a really fun movie. It's it's a fun movie. It won't. I, I guess some negatives are like. Uh, um, it's predictable. I, I found it to be really predictable in a lot of aspects. You know, I saw certain things coming uh, that I was like, eh, yeah, which I, I just predict it because, you know, I've seen some of my movies and it's just, it's kind of cliched and yeah. And uh, I found uh, Knuckles' arc in, in the movie to be, uh, to be predictable. And I kind of saw where that was going. And uh, yeah. Also, there also the script. The, the the script isn't really that good. There's some bad dialogue. There's a lot of exposition, really on the nose stuff like that, which wasn't always my favorite. Also, there's a completely pointless wedding subplot in the movie that could have been cut out. It, it didn't really do much for the movie. It, it was just kind of there, wasting time. Uh, but also some other positives that I have to get out are. It's actually surprisingly funny. Which I wasn't expecting. I was expecting it just to be dumb kid humor, but it was actually really funny. So, um, yeah, I, I was kind of, uh, I was kind of surprised by that. And uh, also another negative that I have to get out is that it, it commits one of the biggest kids movies cliches, and that there is a dance battle in the movie. And I was like, which I mean, honestly, for the record, uh, it, it's it's a lot better than like most. Like it's better than. Uh, uh, the dance, the dance scene, the emoji movie, or whatever. You know, I, I I can't remember the movie much, but I know that there was a dance scene in the film, and it was fucking cringe. So, but this one is pretty funny. But yeah, it's just cliche, and I was like, eh, could have done without it. Uh, but yeah, other than that, it was a really good movie. And uh, yeah, so uh, also there's a lot of um, I guess fan service. I mean, I've I've never really, I've never played the game, so I don't, I don't like, I, I wouldn't be able to understand any of the, uh, the, uh, references to, like, the games in it. I was, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure, uh, actual Sonic fans will get a kick out of it, but other than that, uh, 
it's a pretty, it, yeah, it's a solid movie. Really, really good. It, you can tell that, you know, there's also some surprising payoffs um, from the from the last movie, oddly enough. Like, most, the, the only one is involving a baseball field that's a payoff from, from that, which I thought was really, really sweet and heartwarming. So, yeah, yeah, it was, it was really cool. Also, it was a pretty cool post credit scene, so uh, if you, if you uh, uh, go see it, uh, stay tuned for that. But uh, overall, I'd say it's a pretty big see it. It's really entertaining. You'll, you'll, you'll definitely have a really good time with this movie. So yeah, def definitely go see it. Anyways, uh, that's about it. Uh, be sure to... Uh, anyways, yeah, that's about it. Uh, be sure to stay tuned, because tomorrow I'm going to be going to see the film uh, Everything Everywhere all at once. And I will be doing a see it skip it for that. So, uh, overall, yeah, that's about it. Goodbye.